Let me give you an example that a lot of TIs go through. Um, they will say something like, I'm stabbing you in the back. Can okay. you feel that? And the TI will be like, yes, I feel that. And then they'll give it a score. Okay. How much misery and suffering did that cause? And all that's being done is being played back into the brain, you know, the central nervous system. It's not an actual physical touch. There is no harm being done in terms of the, the physicality of the individual, but they'll go through these like three a day, different tortures. Okay, we're gassing your eyes with tear gas and you know, their eyes will actually tear up. There will be a response and they'll itch and they can't see, but this is all done through the brain. It's the brain's reaction to these tortures that they're playing back to them. So the brain, question. the brain feels the pain as if it's real. That's there, right. We call it no touch torture. And so the assumption for most human beings, well, if I don't see blood or mutilation, it can't be that bad. Well, what the brain perceives is far worse than that. In fact, the pains are amplified, sensitized, and are ex you know, extremely vulnerable to these, uh, these circuits being stimulated. Torture itself. It's a high stress level. So yeah. one of the objectives of torture is to keep them at maximum pain and the highest stress levels possible. And it breaks my heart to know what's being done to them by some real sick, evil, out of control people who have taken their positions of power and authority and taken advantage of it. They have violated the trust of the American people they have violated the trust of the stockholders and their companies. They have violated the trust of their co-workers. They violated the trust of their employees. They violated the trust of their family and their friends. They violated the trust of their children. And they violated the trust of all Americans everywhere and indeed all human beings all over the planet. They have violated that trust by using their positions of power to conceal themselves from scrutiny and then use that veil of secrecy to launch what amounts to an attack on a nonviolent American population who are just trying to live their lives and make a living and be happy, love their friends and family and do the best they can. So, you know, like any technology, uh, there are great things we could do and then there are very horrible things that could result from it that are unanticipated. Now, if somebody hacks into your cell phone or your bank account, they can steal your identity. But it's not your real identity. It's more like your money. <laughs> and that's bad enough, right? That's pretty bad if you get hacked um, and they steal your, you know, they do identity theft. But if they're, if they're connected, if your brain is connected directly to the internet, then it will be real identity theft. They could take it you. They could literally erase you. They could reprogram you in a way without you even knowing it. So every you think you're in control of your own will, but it's actually somebody else. It can literally stop your own thoughts from happening and replace them with other thoughts uh, by sending thoughts to your head. And it's so sophisticated that you cannot tell where these thoughts are coming from. There's no way to, to discern that they are coming from somewhere other than your own mind. So you can imagine how bad this would be for people that don't even realize this technology exists. And they're having these thoughts which they think are spontaneous because uh, being under the influence of this technology now, kind of having been on both sides of it, I am, I am just amazed um, at the way it works. And I know that the thoughts that they beam into your head originate from the exact same place in your mind that your own natural thoughts originate from. So if I didn't know I was under the influence of this technology, then I would have no idea that anyone was influencing my thoughts at all. And that's exactly what it could be used for. It could be used to sway people in terms of their opinion, to make them go along with a certain agenda. It can be used to turn groups of people or individuals against each other uh, for whatever purpose. And who do we trust with this technology? Well, apparently not Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> he didn't do that good a job at protecting our data. <laughs> you know, 
Do we trust a government? Do we trust uh, Donald Trump? <laughs> do we trust, who do we trust? Yeah, decentralized, a blockchain, right? There's, you, uh, you're gonna have to have technology uh, that protects us. Technology which really doesn't exist today. And it has to be so foolproof and we have to have so much faith in it that we're willing to open up our brains to that potential of being hacked. So my final slide here is that, you know, our future could go two ways, right? We could literally create heaven on earth. So we are all one giant being and we are all working in unison and we are experiencing these amazing things. Or it could be hell, where there's some evil AI or evil people controlling everything we do and we're more like zombies, you know? Where we don't even know it. Like we think we're free and we're not actually free. And I always thought that that was a possibility for the future. I'm aware of some of the predictions of the future and the direction the country's going and, and it could get really bad. Some horrible things could happen in the future. And one of the things I've been struggling with trying to wrap my mind around is that this is not about the future at all. It's happening right now in America today. And it's a goddamn disgrace. What these people have done is turned this technology into a video game. And that is exactly how they approach it. They approach it as though they are playing a cross between Sid Meier's civilization on their computer and Sims where they are controlling all of civilization and also controlling people on the individual level. It is infuriating. It is highly, highly illegal and it must be stopped now.